Well, we're talking saying earlier that the run is already a big portion of this, right? And personally, I think a lot more can be won and lost on this portion on the beach. And that has just increased uh, the influence of the run now much greater, as you say, <laughs> and that distance ever increasing. This is the easy bit, though, down the beach. Uh, uh, and with that gravity pulling you towards your boat, and uh, having not yet rowed that 500 metres, 250 out, 250 back, and we're now underway, a nice clean start by both. Yeah, China there just getting an extra couple of strokes in before Australia took off, but I think it, this is a really good approach as well. Australia, Asha Thomas made sure she was set up in her boat. You know, you have to make sure you're on your seat, you have the oars in your hand and your feet are set. Otherwise, if any of those things are off, that is gonna cost you lots of seconds. So you're better off taking that split second at the start to make sure you're set up and that's what she did and now she's using her power to get herself back into the mix here now so at the moment it does look like it is people's republic of china from australia this is the bronze medal match here for these under 19 year olds in this women's coastal solo and uh, it is getting very bubbly out there as the tide is going out neve and as they get further out to sea this is getting much choppier here still not as choppy as we've seen it uh, earlier in the week but it is getting bouncing yeah, look at the lead now that Australia are pulling in to this. She was just behind at the start, but look at her now. She is going to hit that turn before People's Republic of China. So Ashra Thomas is swinging her bow. We saw her there. Look at her. She's really lying back to get that bow around here. People's Republic of China, though, with great navigation skills here, staying so tight to that turning. Boy, both of them now on the way back. And look, Australia once again coming back over into that centre. Everyone that is in that right-hand lane are really moving into that that center uh, before they're going to have to overcorrect now to come back to the beach. Yeah, and from what we saw in the semi-finals, I think Thomas is going to need a bit of a lead going into the beach because her sprinting just not quite as strong uh, as uh, the People's Republic of China. So let's see as we come now. She's got both a correction and distance to make up. I think the uh, the gusto for this bronze medal currently with Jiang Yinghua of the People's Republic of China, but close in boat speed. Yes, China starting to pick it up here now boat speed is much higher than australia although people's republic of china now jiang yihang hung is gone quite uh, a bit wider than she has in earlier rounds just getting slightly caught off here we're seeing lots of ripples here i think this is uh, the effect from a ship that passed us a while ago there's a few more bits of waves and swell as they come in this is close but it does look like it's going to be astrid thomas what has she left in her legs oh she's caught a great wave here coming in towards the beach which slowly her down perfectly as it crests on towards the rocks. Here comes Thomas of Australia going up against Jiang of China. It's going to be centimetres here. Just oh. the Australian ahead of China for the bronze medal. We'll wait to hear that confirmed, but less than half a second separating our bronze medalists. My word, if that is what we've got to look forward to in the A final for the gold medal, then we are in for a treat. But that bronze medal match, uh, it was not settled at any point in that race different strengths coming into play and uh, mustered the strength where she needed it most on the beach sprint but uh, let's take a look at that finish once more because that's one of the closest we've seen of the day and uh, brilliant from Astrid Thomas of Australia who will clinch a podium position here in Genoa at the World Rowing Beach Sprint Finals 2024.